Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something a little bit different. There are so many new vegan options at a load of fast food places, coffee shops. So I thought today I will try them all. I will be trying Greg's Vegan Steak Bake, Costa's Vegan Ham and Cheese Toasty, Subway's Meatless Marinara, and KFC's Vegan Chicken Burger. I think it's also quite interesting to see what vegan options are now available in the UK. So obviously I know a lot of you watching are from the UK, but a lot of you are not so it'll be interesting to see are these similar vegan options to what you guys have where you're from so I will be starting the day off at Greg's so we've just got back from Greg's and the Greg's by us is always normally really busy because it's where like all the business people go for lunch and stuff like that normally they still have a very good selection but today there was no vegan steak bakes no vegan sausage rolls Nothing. It's disgusting, really. And so then the guy was like, it's gonna be around like five to 10 minutes, do you mind waiting? And because this Greg's is literally like around the corner from our place, we just decided to wait. There was so many other people that were waiting. Like everyone in that Greg's, no one really eats in because they just take it and go to their office and eat there. Literally everyone that was like sat down was just waiting. I so think people who eat in in Greg's are like a special breed. Yeah. You I've know. never even considered it. You also have to no. pay more money. Yeah. It's like 20 mm. pence more to like sit in. To sit in because yeah. they have to charge you as like, tax. Cal actually has the normal steak bake Regular and then steak bake. I went for the vegan one. The whole time I said to Cal like you carry yours so then we don't like mix up which one's which. Exactly. Our first discovery. They look completely so they look different. different. So that's quite good because then let's say like we did mess up. Yeah. Obviously this has know. more of like a, is it like a lattice? Lattice, that's how I would describe it. And I worked in a bakery <laughs> once so I would call it a lattice. And also this has like a different finish on it. It's like a glazy finish yeah. on the actual one where it's like, so it this is more dry. matte and this is a shiny finish, you know. Matte and the, gloss finishes yeah. <laughs> on our uh, <laughs> bakes. I'm really just here for the ride because I know I like steak bakes. So, but I'm here to be the, I'm going to try the vegan one and I'm going to try the regular one and give a, a taste mm. to the difference. I will say this smells quite strongly like I will not like it, personally. Get mm. a mouthful less. I was gonna say it tastes like a steak bake, but when was the last time you had a steak bake? I was literally about to say, like, I used to eat meat, like, it's never that like, I've not had one. To me, it tastes the exact same, and I'm sure, like, you're gonna say it's not because you eat them more regularly than I do. That's so good. Do you know what it is? I think it's the texture. It has that, like, meaty texture. It looks like so, a steak bake inside. But the texture is very, like, mince. It's my time. Yeah. Smell test. Smells kind of meaty, mm. honestly. It's really good. I would never guess that that's like a veggie meal. That's actually really nice. Right? I always like, I'm willing to try this stuff. I'm mm. not like against being no. like vegetarian. Mm. Um, every time we've eaten, or like I've eaten like vegetarian or vegan mm. food, there's actually like a few things that I really, it's like cauliflower wings are very good. Mm. Um, again, cause I don't really like spicy wings. Jackfruit well. nuggets are good too. I mean, she's devouring like, it, so you can tell so it's good. good. And there's like onions in it as well. I genuinely really like it. It tasted very meaty, honestly. And like Mitch said, because of the mincy feel, like mm. it really feels like you're just eating a steak bake. In this video, I didn't put the McDonald's vegan things because I find that like the vegan like veggie dippers or whatever they're called, the texture is so bad. Like I just find it really, really very mushy. Very dry. Mm, they're dry on the outside and then just like mushy. There's like no flavor to it really. I just didn't feel like they had to be in this video. On the way home from the Greggs, there's also a Costa. And I heard that Costa had a new like vegan, I mean, it doesn't say it. Wow, contents may cause happiness. Old statement. What a caution. Keeping you happy for longer, we'll see. Is that statistically mm. proven? Can they put that here? So it's a vegan toasty made with corn smoky ham. So I heard about it and I thought, you know what? Let's just get it on the way home. Whoa. Oh, it smells I'm very, not, very smoky. Yeah, I'm not as keen on the smell. When I did eat meat, I didn't really like very like smoky hams or anything. I don't really like pepperoni either when I did eat meat. But it is very, very cheesy. And I do like vegan cheese, so we'll soon see. But yeah, the ham yeah, smells very This one smoky. might not be for me, but I will, I will give it a blast. Cheers. The cheese is good. I would say my issue is, mm. after my initial bite, which is very small, I don't taste the ham substitute. Mm. I can just taste the cheese. The cheese? It, Did you taste the ham? Yeah, so well, I mean, I oh, got a big bite it. of the ham, yeah, but I didn't really get any of the flavour. I mean, you can taste like the smokiness. It just gives the cheese a smoky flavour. So it just tasted like a strong smoky cheese. It didn't really taste of like cheese with something else. Mm. Maybe if my eyes were closed or I didn't have my glasses on, 
<laughs> and I bit into this, I would have just thought it was cheese. Mm. I'd have yeah. probably been full better steak bake for sure. Oh yeah, one thousand percent. Yeah, the vegan steak bake was one pound fifty five, which honestly to eat the whole thing is like super filling and actually very very good. Mm. Hello. Okay, so I'm currently editing. I don't know if I was explaining it right about this cheesy ham toasty. There was too much cheese, which personally for me I did like because I didn't really like the ham. I think it's just because it reminded me so much of pepperoni, and I just don't like pepperoni. Cal said as well, like when you go for a cheese and ham toasty, you want the best of both, like the balance. Whereas when you bit into to this it was just only cheese so i think the ratio was a bit off in that sense so i guess that's what i'm trying to explain to be fair to costa the normal ham and cheese is the same price it's 2.95 as well which is good to so price that's good it. to be like the exact same don't think i would have it again not the ham and cheese toast no though. no yeah that's not what for I mean. me the steak bake 1000 percent if i had to put a war between the steak bake the vegan steak bake or the vegan sausage roll i'd go with the steak bake what would mm. you go yeah steak bake it really does taste and look just like, yeah. like an oniony mince boo costa we went to three different KFCs and thankfully the last one we went to did have it in stock. Hooray. So we have it. Ba -da -da -da. Look at that. <laughs> Let's try it. This is initially what it looks like. <laughs> Beautiful presentation. <laughs> Whoa, it's quite big, you know. From looking at it, it does look like one big piece of chicken. It does smell like the chicken burger. Yeah. So. I mean, my initial thoughts right now is it does look really dry. Even with the mayo. Yeah, I mean, there's like a really small bit of mayo at the bottom. Here comes the first bite. Is it nice? You look pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Honestly? It looks like chicken. It not only looks like chicken, the texture's a bit like tuna. Huh. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's a bit strange thing. Right? Still very dry. I mean, but also I like a saucy meal or a burger if I'm going to pick something I want She's it. She's saucy. <laughs> it needs something. So it's interesting because it does actually really taste like a chicken burger. The thing for me, obviously, and this comes with it, obviously I'm not a vegan and I'm not eating like this, but there's a huge difference in like the, the texture. I think the only good thing is it's not super like mushy. Yeah. I think that's the only good thing. This still has a crunch to it. It definitely needs a sauce. Yeah, I'd say that for like sure. it really could have done with the mayo on top so it could have soaked in a little bit. Mm. Because or maybe underneath, top and bottom. Awesome. Right, so <laughs> trying to get this sub was a mission and a half. There is around eight subways in our area and so Cal wanted the normal meatball sub and obviously I wanted to try the meatless one. Some of them would only have the one that Cal wanted, some of them would have only my one and Cal was like, oh, he could change it, he doesn't really mind, but like, I'm easy. I made it's it my mission at this point. Yeah, to try find one that had both. And so I looked on both Uber Eats and on Deliveroo. I had said to Cal, oh, I found one that's on Uber Eats. When it comes to the time we want to eat, I'll order from there because it has both of them. Because all the other ones are like, oh, it's sold out, like da da da. So I go to order and I saw it and then I was scrolling and I went to click and then it went sold out. <laughs> and I said to Cal, like, this is a stress, I could cry. <laughs> And then I then went back on Deliveroo, which I had already looked at all the subways on Deliveroo. But it was like a double check moment. And then I checked again and suddenly they both popped up again saying that they had them in stock. So that's Victory. fine. I'm very happy. I didn't get many extra things on top of it. I thought I may as well just get that. I don't want to get anything else, like any extra sauces because in case like, I don't know, it, it like takes away from taste it. the taste. Yeah. The vegan cheese looks really good as well. Oh my God. Oh. <gasps> I am the catcher of jalapenos. Amazing. Okay, let's go. First bite. Good. By far the best thing we've had today. Really? Hands down. No, I'm not gonna go too deep because I don't want any of these spicy businesses. That tastes exactly like a meatball marinara. I probably wouldn't know the difference. The texture is really nice. I think as a meatball, it does hold well together until you bite into it. What is it? I don't know. I actually don't know why. I, I just ate. It's nice though. I think, now I could be wrong. I'm taking over this video for a second while yeah. which is out of the shop. Um, I'm Googling. The sauce might carry it a little bit. Yeah, I was just saying, the sauce Because the sauce flavor. tastes just like a meatball marinara does in a meaty one. So I think they could carry a lot of the taste with the sauce, but the meatball itself was actually really nice. It just says plant-based meatballs. It looks the same as mine. Mm, yeah, to be fair. It really does. I'm quite impressed actually. Mm. That is the nicest one. And I get what you mean, like the sauce is really good. Mm. And I'm sure it's probably one of those things that maybe without the sauce it could be quite dry, but I do really like it. Mm. Yeah, it is very nice. So mm. it's definitely the nicest thing you're right. Before she scores them, but that yes. is the nicest one. <laughs> Spoiler alert, that's gonna win. 
I have tried the vegan patties from Subway and I do like them. Mm. But now, if I had to choose between that and this, I'd rather have this. This every time. Finally, after a very long day of eating. So at the very, very, very bottom, I guess if we're saying is whether I would buy them again, no, I would not. In fourth place, we have Costa's vegan smoky ham and cheese toasty. I do really like corns like turkey slices. I think they're really tasty. And I like the texture of them in a sandwich, but this ham, I just, I don't know, I couldn't get on board. So number three is actually the KFC vegan chicken burger. It's definitely above the toasty just because the texture was a lot better. It was kind of like that flaky tuna type texture. It was just so dry. It was really, really dry. Boys and gals, we are now into the top two. Both of these I would definitely have again. At number two is Greg's vegan steak bake. I don't know if I was at an advantage at my Greg's because I had to wait 10 minutes for them to be made. So maybe if it wasn't as hot, it would have affected like its rating right now. It would have been a different rank, but it wasn't. It was great. It was nice and hot, so it's at number two. So I think there's no surprise that from my reaction to the final food that the Subway vegan meatless meatball marinara sub is at number one. But it was difficult to find. That was my only thing. But then I don't know if it's because we ordered dinner at around 8 p.m. So maybe by that time they were gone. I don't know. If you guys are from anywhere else other than the UK, please leave a comment down below letting me know like what fast food restaurants do really good vegan food and what alternatives do they have? Because I'd be really interested to see like what things are there, where other people are from. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I have a few ideas in my mind of what the next video will be. So so stay tuned and I will see you when I see you.